Hi, my name is Chang. I'm a PhD student at the Center for Global Food and Resources, the University of Adelaide, and a PhD student with the Fights Food Waste CIC. I grew up on a small farm where I saw my mom strictly force us to uh, separate food leftovers into a small bucket under the sink. She would then feed these to the animals or put in our warm farm. When I left home for college, I forgot about this altogether. Time passed by, I completed my master's degree abroad and started to do research on a food loss and waste reduction project. This time, I learned about a shocking amount of food that is thrown away each year and how much it contributes to the global anthropogenic greenhouse gas emissions. In Australia, an enormous 2.5 million tons of food waste comes from household each year. Unfortunately, 92% of this amount goes to landfill even though it could be composted. South Australia brings me a very different view about how the state government tries to reduce the amount of food ended up landfills. Lots of councils provide its residents with a free kitchen caddy and compostable bags to ease the task of uh, separating food. Still, 30 to 50% of general rubbish is food waste. Lots of people who I know and work with are well educated but not aware that food can be discarded into the green bin, let alone the tool provided by the councils. Memories with mom getting so upset when she found food in the rubbish bin come to my mind. I wonder why households throw away uh, food and why they do not separate food waste. Also, there should be a way to learn this phenomenon and change it individual's behavior. Therefore, I decided to do my PhD research on what households do every day. I would like to understand why food is weighted by households and the reasons why they do or do not separate food waste. In particular, I would like to understand why households discard food as well as their attitudes toward food waste, the environment and their health. We hope to find out some of the reasons that could explain why households behave the way they do with food waste. We are interested in seeing if the environmental attitudes and behavior could help introduce better food waste reduction practices. And if health concerns would hinder them reducing food waste. The findings could provide insights for behaviorally informed policy for meaningful impacts aiming at uh, reducing and diverting food waste from landfill. In the words of Paul Kelly, from little things, big things grow. I believe each household can contribute their bit to help save money, protect the environment, save resources for future generations, just by simply putting food waste organics into the green bin correctly.